so we're in Italy fishing abroad and uh, I'm here with Frank and uh, Frank uh, while we're on the subject of being abroad uh, I was thinking about uh, hearing a little bit about what you're thinking about the whole World Cup Classic thing how did it start for you you've been oh, there a long long yeah the World Cup Classic well, I've only missed three since the start. I think I did the first one, uh, which was the inaugural event, the very first one, in uh, 1998, uh, I believe. Don't quote me on that. I think it was 98. And uh, there was a lot of interest in it, obviously, you know, because it was something brand new. And uh, it was for individuals. It was three nights, can you believe? And it was on Medin. So uh, there was no using boats, no uh, echo sounders, boats, all that sort of stuff. Uh, we were all casting from the bank and we, we were spotting and uh, using throwing sticks. And it was very exciting because we were fishing all parts of Medine that had never been fished before. Oh, uh, yeah. And it had done fish over £65, which was big fishing them days, you know. Uh, so it was quite a, an exciting thing and uh, it was a bit of a who's who of the cartwheel there, you know. Rod okay. Hutchinson was there and yeah. uh, uh, obviously Tim and Crowey and Briggsy. And, you know, all, all of us, the, the big gang, most of us have carried on going all these years since, you know, yeah. it's become a tradition. It has, yeah. Yeah, and uh, we're doing it this year, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty excited about that, yeah, I am. Yeah. And in Medine this year again. Uh, back to Medine again, yeah, because yeah. it's been in uh, Italy, in uh, Lake Bolsena, for the last three years, hasn't it? Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's just something to look forward to. Uh, it comes at the right time of the year, in, in September as well. Yeah. And uh, it's always difficult to catch the fish in these competitions, but there's always that chance, and there's always the thing. It's not just about the money with this; it's about no. the, the winning the trophy and the prestige of it. So it's, yeah, it's yeah. a nice thing to do. I agree, and it, it's uh, well, it's a first for me to Medine, and uh, I've been hearing great things about the venue, and I, I'm really excited. And for you, it must bring back old memories, even you know. Oh yeah, loads of memories. <clears throat> I mean. Ross is uh, the organizer, is a very good friend of mine, you know, and uh, we're very close friends. And yeah. uh, I've got to know people from all across the world doing this, you know, as far as Japan, yeah, and uh, Russia, all different nationalities there, you know. I think we've had, I think, don't quote me again, but maybe 18 different nationalities over the years, second part, you know. So it's, it's great, it's a great, great big occasion. What about in the beginning when when it all started? Like, were you were you as many nationalities back then, or was it more? It's hard to remember, really. I think yeah. there was quite a few. Yeah, primarily quite a few English. Yeah. Well, now they have qualifiers in different countries to get through there, you know. Yeah. And uh, there's a there's a lot of Polish anglers in it now, for example, and people from Czech and Hungary, you know. Uh, Scandinavia. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's great. It's a truly international competition. Yeah, it, it. I mean, for for myself, I mean, we went on our first trip in 2013, and it uh, it really is an exciting place to be. And I can I can see what you mean, and it's it's, it's quite addictive. You know, you you uh, you want to come back. You know, mm. you want to meet all the all the different people you made friends with and all sorts. You know. Yeah, it's it's more, it's not just the fishing; it's a social occasion as well. You know, yeah. and uh, I mean, over the years, I've seen all kinds of things happen. Yeah. You know, people have crashed the cars on the way there, and uh, <laughs> one guy from Serbia, Jova, a friend of mine, yeah. he came when we were on Medine about four years ago, and he hitched that, we hitched it all the way from uh, Serbia. <laughs> wow. Just to spectate. Yeah. And uh, he's a taxi driver in Serbia, and he, he it took him about nearly three days to get there. And he came with a small bag with all his gear in and that, you know. And then, then he was told he couldn't even spectate. <laughs> oh, poor Because we were on an island. We were on the island, and, yeah. uh, or near the island. And uh, in the end, Ross relented and said, OK, you can go, you know, yeah. and uh, come come and sit and spectate. and that. So we ended up giving him a spare bivy and looked after him. And uh, but it was nice that he, he was so excited to, to travel all that way from Serbia, you know. Yeah, I, I, I can sort of recognise that. Last year, I, I went down, and I was only going to be there to sort of be a part of the start and event and I uh, I ended up going home and going crazy and ended up taking a plane back and taxi out to the lake to to be part of the last bit of it as well and I've, I've said to myself that's never going to happen again I'm I'm going to be there for the full event the next year and yeah. it's going to be great 
Well, you're going to be fishing with us this year. What do you think of that? Yeah, well, I'm, uh, you know, quite excited about that. It's, uh, you've got some dead nice bait and uh, we're good mates as well, which is, is great. And uh, the old Scandinavian uh, connection is brilliant. So uh, we're all happy about it. You know, Hardy's fishing with me and Guy Aitkins. Yeah. In our little team of three. And you've got your missus going, haven't you? Yeah, yeah and, I'm uh, fishing with the wife. Yeah. And uh, there's some good guys, isn't there? Yeah, I, I'm really excited, you know. I, 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 I can't wait to go down there and see how it goes. I mean, <clears throat> the whole thing about the event, I mean, uh, like I said, with all the people, and obviously I, I'm very happy about the team this year, oh, and I was all the years, and uh, uh, to see and uh, to be able to pick your brains a little bit and get an advantage on coming on the lake. Uh, one thing that I like, and I'd like to hear your opinion about, is the, the way the prizes has been given this year. I really like that. What do you think of that? The prizes? Yeah, with the, the way that it's the, I think it's the three biggest fish. Yeah, it's the, well I suggested it to Ross. Yeah. I do a lot of competitions in Romania and, and uh, they have uh, the best five awards. Yeah. So you do the match and it's your biggest five fish, the aggregate weight of your biggest five fish, which makes it dead exciting. We thought five was too many for a Medine because it's a, you know, a little bit patchy. Some areas are better than others. So you've, if you get a, for want of a better word, and not so good draw, you still can catch a couple of three fish. Yeah. So three fish, you're still in with a shout, even up until the last day, you know, you can still have three good ones. So it gives you a chance wherever you are and uh, it's, it makes it more interesting. Yeah, it really does. I mean, yeah. to me, that really that's that's something that where you can keep the excitement going to the very last minute. Anything yeah. can happen, right? Oh, well, of course it can. Yeah, I mean, I, in the first year, uh, a, a guy that I know, he won it in the last sort of twelve hours. Yeah, he came from nowhere. Yeah, and overtook the leader and won it. Yeah, you know, so you never know. Yeah, that's uh, sure. You need that look as well, of course. You know. Yeah, yeah, with the with the luck of the draw. I mean, uh, yeah, anything can happen. That, that's what's nice about a competition. You got to make it work for wherever you're sitting. You know, mm. yeah, that's that's very exciting. And uh, for sure, and that's that's uh, the atmosphere when when the, the peg draw is being done is is well very electric. <laughs> yeah, and. We've seen, uh, there's never been a, a year where we've not had big storms on there and that, so you've you always got that to look forward to. <laughs> yeah, that's true, that's yeah. as well. So, it could be good. But it's going to be great, Frank. It was nice hearing your opinion on the subject and I can't wait to see us. Doing yeah, the... okay, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, we do. Yeah. All right, mate.